Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I have the proud announcement to make that Metal Gear Arcade is ready to be emulated and also speedrun. On speedrun.com, Marlon and I prepared a full set of individual levels or missions that you can do in Arcade and you can now speedrun them. It's a fantastic new thing that we can offer now thanks to the great work from Soft, a developer that was also part of Safe MGO that then also sat down to basically reverse engineer everything for Metal Gear Arcade. In case you don't know what Metal Gear Arcade is, Metal Gear Arcade is basically Metal Gear Online, but then set up for arcades. And it's based on, of course, the MGS4 engine and also plays quite much like that. We have in total here over 50 levels that you can play in. And of course, you can also do full game runs. But for beginners, I'm just going to link you a few uh, important links in the description down below so you can get started. First of all is that you get the game itself. It's here in uh, developer uh, emuline.org forum where you can download it yourself on Google Drive. There's a little bit of a tutorial here. Our list of bindings also shows here what they actually do in the game. Some of them don't have a use, but they still exist. And for example, enter focus day mode, you can go here with left shift so you can actually log in. And other things that are important to use. So yeah, very easy to set up. Press F4 in Spice in order to change keyboard bindings. And then now with the list here, for example, you can easily tell what all of these buttons do. And yeah, if you want, you can make videos here. You can also do co-op runs now. If you set up an account, you have to reach out to Soft himself, either via Discord at Soft or ZOFT, or of course here on the forum. And we also have a little bit more of extra information that we have and this little spreadsheet. So all the links I said will be in the description down below, even a little bit of an overview. If you want to get started, here's the Metal Gear Speedrunners wiki page for Metal Gear Arcade that should give you also everything that you need. And yeah, once you have that, download the game, uh, put it somewhere, and then you just launch Spice here on the screen. Spice EXE, not the 64 version, just Spice. And here we are. The game launches, you can basically start right away. Now, if you don't have an account, you cannot make any saves uh, in your progress. The card has to be set up from Zoft, and he has the server where everything will be safe then. But even without an account, you could just go here, set up everything, and just play. So I'm going to charge a few credits like this, 105 for example, just put it on here. Click around, and then with the key bindings, if you need help, you can also always press F4 to open here the key bindings. There's a pre-selection for Metal Gear already with f4 but yeah metal gear arcade is completely in japanese it was never translated it was presented at e3 though an american of course event but never actually got translated over here and what you want to use is gun type control not head control and go gun control type so we're using our mouse keyboard and so like for example just one of the missions here it will cost you 10, 10 coins but you can always recharge them because you basically have infinite ammo. And um, we're just gonna go and start our first match here. Just for fun, give you a little bit inside how it looks like. If you play on more than one monitor, then going left and right, you will be able to leave with the mouse, and that will mess up with your aiming. So if you have more than one monitor, um, maybe try to position the monitor that you play on in like Windows desktop, so left and right you cannot leave with the mouse. It's a little bit awkward if you do that. And once it loads in here, I can just press button and here we go it normally is a 3d game but as you can see here it's mission for example i can also switch around i want to use a grenade so i'm going to throw a grenade like this here up and there and take out some of these enemies not all of them immediately die like that and so yeah that's the update thank you so much for watching as i said all links that are important are in the description down below and happy playing see you later